Welcome to making better DSLR videos. In this short video, we're going to have a look at one of these, a little gray or white screen used to balance the white balance on a camera that makes all the difference. If you get your color balance wrong, and for instance here I'm videoing in tungsten light, then I've got a definite odd hue on me. And if we look at the grey screen or the white screen, it doesn't really look white. We can also change the colour setting to white fluorescent light. And here we've got the grey screen and the white screen looking like this. Sometimes when you want to take a picture, you don't have nice lighting conditions. Here I've got bright sunshine coming through the window. I've got fluorescent lights. I've got LED lights. And I've got some computer screens. And all of these add to make really fairly awful balanced lighting conditions. So what we need to do is to take the white or grey screen I'm going to use the white screen and what I'm going to do is take a picture of me holding the white screen so if we put the camera on and then I'll just take a quick picture of me holding the white screen now once we've got this picture into the camera then we can use the white balance to set it up. Let's have a go at doing that. I have here the EOS 70D and what we're going to do is have a quick look at the screen and what I want to do is set the white balance and on this one we simply press the menu, choose first of all the white balance to be custom white balance and then we go into our color balance it displays the last picture that we've taken and most of that was white so I'm now going to try and set from that picture and now the camera is set to take a video with the right color balance Let's have a look and see what it does. And here is a little bit of video shooting of me using the custom white balance, trying to get a varying degree of what it might look like. And then, of course, just a view of the screens I'm currently working on. Well, that certainly looks a little bit better. What we now need to do is to ensure that the white balance is set every time and then the pictures look that much better and that much more realistic and then we don't have to do a lot of work in post-production. You may have noticed in this video, however, there have been a few continuity issues. And this is the subject of my next video.